We all remember Rosie from the Jetsons as the robot maid of the future. But Rosie is becoming a reality with the Savvy Oak delivery robot. Originally launched in hotels, the Savvy One can interact with humans, enter into elevators and hallways, and even smiles and dances. I'm joined today by Steve Cousins, CEO and founder of Savvy Oak, and Jake Knapp, design partner at Google Ventures. Welcome, guys. Thank you. I actually didn't mention our third guest today, which is the Savvy One, uh, and, and I should have welcomed him or her. There's something delightful about the, the robot, and, and is that because it has an element of personality, human personality, and how did you guys think about injecting that um, when you were going through the design process? Yeah, I think we, we expected that people were going to imbue, imbue the, any technology that we built with a personality and because it moves around and it seems like it has a personality you automatically um, you know assume that it has some kind of intelligence you give it agency we're all sort of spoiled by wally because you you know you think like oh robots have you know thoughts and plans and hopes and dreams and and you know like really this this robot doesn't and so one of the things we did was to look at a bunch of different like movie clips of of robots that you know what are the robots and and sort of characters people have been exposed to and kind of like evaluate them and think like oh that's you know that one's over promising you know or or that one's creepy you know and and until we got to some things that seemed like kind of just right and we thought like well that's that's sort of a target that works. One of the ones that evoked this notion of like, um, like kind of just right is actually this movie called My Neighbor Totoro. And, and the Totoro is like this, this like um, um, this sort of like big monster, like spirit monster. And he's just, he's just like a very quiet bear, you know, and he just kind of had a lot of things with his eyes, just looking around and, um, and, and you know, slow movements and, and no expression in it. And it seemed to, it seemed to be about, about right. If you just give him eyes, he can get all the expression you need. You don't need to do a full mouth, you don't need to do a full face. Um, and so that, that's sort of what got us started with, you know, in this particular design. And then Adrian, in the industrial design, reinforces with kind of a little bit of a smile here, but it's, it's very subtle. Jake, from, from your perspective, um, when you, you were working with Savvy Oak on, on some of these design elements, um, was there anything that surprised you about designing for a robot? I think the most surprising thing was that, you know, I've never seen any product that we tested be so enthusiastically loved by every single person who saw it. They were just like, oh my God, it's a robot. I'm like, are they going to have this robot in this hotel? I live in the neighborhood, but I'll stay in this hotel. You know, it's just like, it was amazing. So now that you're in the real world, you know, people are interacting, what's next for you? What do, what's 2015 going to bring for Savio? More robots. That's, I mean, that's sort of in a nutshell. We, we have a handful that we're testing and we've been going through this pilot. We think we're at the stage where we're ready to make more and really extend the pilot. We want to be in, um, you know, dozens of hotels next year um, and really kind of make sure that we understand it's not just the Cupertino loft, it's the others. We're, we're going into our second and third hotels over the next month um, and we'll continue to expand through 2015 until we're ready for full production. Great. Well, we look forward to seeing robots in all hotels one day. Great. Thank you. Thanks.